Colin from Clarence Pier, our local fun fair here in Portsmouth, which is our hometown. Yep. Hometown down on the south coast. Now, obviously, we've been around the country a fair bit, and uh, this was going to be one of our first stops, if not our first stop of 2020. However, the weather, the weather did not allow that to happen. The weather is shocking. And it was all shut. So this is actually opening day for the park. Uh, it's the 1st of March. So they didn't quite make the uh, February opening, but honestly, the weather down here has been appalling. The wind has been appalling, the rain's been appalling. And you know, there are sea defenses up as well, and you can still see, and probably sadly hear, how windy it is today. But they're open. Yep. So what does that mean? Well, that means we can get on some rides at our local park. We have, as you may well remember from last year, the Twister. We've just shown a picture of the Twister. Still don't care what anyone says, it is the best looking Twister that I've seen. The light in the LED package, amazing, absolutely incredible. Got the Waltzer, which has been recently refurbished, as long as obviously the two new roller coasters for last year. Look at the condition of this bad boy. The Mad Mouse and Tidal Wave. So yeah, they're top on our list, but there's something else on our list as well, Cod. What? What's on our list? Log flume. <laughs> what? Log flume. Log flume. Do you want to go on log flume? Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, no. Well, the other thing we definitely want to go on is the park's brand new Canyon River log flume, which, which is only three tokens to get on. So, bargain. Absolute bargain. There are dodgems here as well, gallopers. Um, I believe the big wheel's going to be shut today because of the wind. As I said, it is still really windy, and uh, I do apologise if you can hear the wind. There's nothing I can do about it. But we are going to take you on some rides including the log flume, including the brand new Canyon River log flume, likely the Mad Mouse behind us, probably Tidal Wave, and now I think the Twister, because the Twister always runs better in the morning, so they're going to hit the Twister. And I love the Twister, I think it's a cracking ride. So yeah, welcome. Welcome to the 2020 season. I know we've been to a few places, we've done a few bits and pieces, but here was always our starting point for 2020, and sadly, it couldn't be our starting point. However, now, 1st of March, we're here. We're here. We're going to show you some more shots now of the Canyon River and the uh, height restriction boards and various other bits. And we'll show you Tidal Wave as well. We're just waiting. It's about 15 minutes till the park opens. Soon the park opens. We're going to be straight on. Straight on the little river ride. We did show you some shots, obviously, of the uh, construction when it was going on. Uh, the bits that we did get of the Canyon River. And we just showed you some at the beginning of the vlog. And here it is. Here is the Canyon River. I like the Eric. One, two, three, four boats. We believe you're looking at sort of two adults, three children, one adult, one child, potentially two children in the boats at one time. So it holds, you know, it holds enough. Uh, and as we said, you know, from what we kind of gather from what we can see outside the park, it's actually a bit bigger than what I thought it was. So kind of around the back, up the top, you've then got a general slope down into the drop there, which is nicely shielded so you're not going to get wet. And then it's a U-turn and right the way back around here before going in. So yeah, there's quite a lot to it. Quite looking forward to it, actually. I know people were expecting an old Revachon one to be coming here, but that's not the case at all. You know, the Revachon ones are nice. Uh, they're a little bit bigger, and the park have indeed have one before. But this time round, they are going for the SBF one. The SBF one, which is much more family orientated, which kind of fits uh, the park's vision for the future. And I actually think it's going to be a really good ride. Height restriction of 1.2 unaccompanied, which is fairly standard for a log flume. 1.05 if you're accompanied by an adult. Uh, oh, here we go. Up to two children and one adult allowed, uh, or two adults allowed on the boat. No standing, swaying, leaning. Yeah, all kind of usual things. Do not put your hands in the water channels. Do not. Do not. This is quite low. It, it is quite low. It is quite low. Uh, I don't think the children would be stupid enough to put their uh, things in there. It's nice and fresh. It smells good. It smells good. I don't know. It smells good. Here's the boats. There's the drop. There's the corner. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Really, really looking forward to it. We're about 15 minutes from opening, and as soon as we are open, we're going on. We're going on, Cod. Yep. Me and you. Kurt's not going on, is he? No. No, sod Kurt. Um, tidal wave coaster there, obviously new for last year. Um, you've got the sky trail down the back. So the dodgems, uh, if anyone was wondering, the dodgems used to sit where the uh, um, where this log flume is now. They're now over here. Little train ride, which was kind of at the entrance here, has moved over the back. And I think there's a juvenile ride gone. But other than that, actually, they've managed to really, really cram it in nicely. Really and cram it in nicely. Space there. Yeah. It's the no bumping bumper cars. Yeah. Diamond Dodgers. 
but it fits in really nicely here. And I'm guessing as well with the building there, it's going to protect it a little bit more against the elements, which would be quite good for them. And of course, the little train over the back and the Sky Trail. Sky Trail's hanging on in there. Hang on in there, Cod. Yep. I can see a nice, nice little roller coaster there. Yep. It's not feeling it. It's not feeling it. Right, 10 minutes, park opens. I'm going to take it on a log flume. Not enough, actually. The water's going to be cold. Around the You can see it in the sun. How are you wet. looking? Very wet. We're both drenched. <laughs> it's because it hits the walls and it rebounds it into does. the car. It does. So that was us on the log flume there. There will be a separate video up on that, which people aren't going to understand because it's just going to have me and Cody making noises all the way around. But that is a cracking little log flume. It's got a lot of movement left and right, so you know you get a nice little rock as you go around, don't you? Yep. But the thing is, you come down the um, <laughs> you come down the drop, and of course the water is then hitting the side panels, and then it literally just just goes into the boat. There's nowhere else for it to go other than in the boat. So the water comes in the boat. I mean, that is going to be great on a summer's day. I think I've got wet feet. It's, I'm actually not cold. No, it's not cold, is it? It's a little cold. He's a little cold. <laughs> I'm alright actually. Uh, Many of you know the feet getting wet is the worst thing in the world, but you know, it's actually quite refreshing. I thought, yeah, I like that. I thought it was really good. And as I said as well, because I said during the construction videos, if you watch those, that this would have a lovely little whip around the top here before dropping. And it does. It is a lovely, it gathers some pace, doesn't it? Really does gather some pace coming around the top before the drop comes down. And I said it would be a highlight, and I'm telling you now, it's a highlight. It may not be the biggest drop in the world, but it's a lovely whip around the top as you come down. And so yeah, it's actually get you wet. and you're gonna get wet. So just prepare, you're gonna get wet. Jordan, send it around for us now. Look, nicely send it around so we can get a video of it as we come around. Look at that, look. Oh. 
So you'll see now. We'll wait for it to go around. I'll tell you what, lift is really quick. Yeah. It's, it, don't look it, but that lift is like blimmin' lightning going up there. So it engages just at the bottom. There's a couple of sensors just at the bottom where the uh, lift engages. And you'll see it kind of kick in. And it will just shoot up. And then because the lift is so quick, the whip around the top is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So you'll see, look at that, look. Grabs the boat. And you'll see it pick up pace now around there. And then you will see how wet how wet we got look at it i mean that is a lot of water that is a lot of water coming into the boat i love that i like that i feel yeah. very good that's a great addition to the park we really enjoyed that wet 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 roller coaster yeah right i think it's time to get on something else now
atmosphere cod? Yep. Atmosphere? Yeah. Atmosphere? It's not here. So, we just, uh, Kurt's just taken it on Mad Mouse there. Lovely little coaster, it's just blended in. I think it was the first ride of the day. It might have been the first ride of the day on it. And of course, the carousel's open, the twister's open, the water's open. You spin on the twister. How was yeah. twister? Good. Yeah, good? Yeah. Enjoy that? Yeah. So Kurt and Cody just been on the twist side, so opposite out of the twist, and my feet are soaking, absolutely soaking. But of course, I really want to go on this. So this is where we're heading now. As Cody said, unique. Yep. It is, isn't it? It's a unique coaster. Look at this, look. So Tidal Wave, one of the uh, two new SBF roller coasters for last year, the spinning one. I'm not sure if it is still the only one in Europe, but it certainly was last year. There was only two of these in the world, with the other one being the one that was actually at the uh, Iron Apple show, the SBF uh, stand on the Iron Apple show. So yeah, we're gonna go on that. But twist are good. The atmosphere down here is cracking, to be honest. And it's really starting to pick up as well, you know. Uh, the worry, as we always say, that you know when you open, that people don't come down because of the weather. Well, look. Look at this weather, look. I don't even mind being wet. It's actually not that cold today. It's about 14, 15 degrees though, so I'm not bothered about being. Nice yeah, I'm not bothered about being that it's cold. But the atmosphere is cracking. It really is. It's great to see the place open. We always have a good time. Last few years we had a really good time when we'd come down here. Uptown Funk's gonna give it to you. You've been on this, haven't you? Yeah. You've been on this? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this look. Nice SBF. Nice spinning like coaster. Nice front row. I, like I do like their seatbelts, they are quite a fan of their seatbelts. But it's alright, we don't mind, do we? There's a hovercraft look, the only one operating in the UK. Bit of useless trivia for you there, Cody. Yep. There it goes, a little U turn. Don't know. Go to the Isle of Wight. Oh, yeah. Honestly. We get two laps on this bad boy. I've got to make sure my phone doesn't fall out of my pocket. Because I've trackied it up today, Cody. I've trackied it up. See, look, you can really see the angle of that drop. I'll tell you what, that is a great view of that as we spin the other way. We're weighing down one side. There it goes, look. Oh, look. There's the other white Cody, look. Look where the hovercraft's going. Oh, it's just a lovely little whip, this. Lovely little whip. Doesn't want us to see it. We'll get it on the way back. We'll get it on the way back. Hopefully. That way. There you go. Oh. What a cracking little ride. What a great coaster. Yeah. What a great coaster that is. I rode it quite a few times last year, in honesty. You know, sometimes we come down when we didn't vlog. But it is, it's this drop. I was really underestimated, just that little drop. Where it's at such an angle, that drop, it really does whip you down, doesn't it? Yeah. Even, dare I say, a little bit of air time. A little bit of air time on a little coaster. But it whips you down so much, when you get to this, the spinning round here is incredible. I tell you, when you think that all these parks are installing crazy caterpillars and dodgy pin fairy rubbish, you know, that's just a cut above. Yep. Smooth. Yeah. Just a cut above, absolute cut above. I love that coaster, three laps. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. As I said, look, it's getting busy now. 
Park's only been open half an hour. It's the opening day of the season. They delayed, delayed, delayed because of the weather. But now look at it, look. People are flocking in, people are coming in. Everyone's starting to ride. Waltz is going around, look. A lot of people riding the waltz, a lot of people on, uh, you know, carousel we've seen go around, tidal wave, tidal wave definitely the most popular one we've seen. Uh, everyone seems to be on that, and of course we've got a big mad mouse here. Yep. So we're going to find Kurt, he's in the arcade, let's see if he can bring back a toy for us. <coughs> Bless him. Bless him, we'll see if he can bring back a toy for us. But yeah, cracking, loving it, absolutely loving it. There we go, Clarence Pier is open for 2020 and we got the first public ride on the log flume. On the log flume. So that is their new attraction for this year and they haven't really lost anything. I think they've only lost the juvenile ride, which is nothing in the scheme of things. Our log flume is, is different, it's different and that's what we like. You know, these standard rides that uh, cycle around. It's a nice unique, it's a nice SBF one as well. It's not the standard uh, Revachon one that people were expecting. And it rides really well and as we said, as I expected, you know, I actually wasn't expecting a lift hill to be that quick in fairness. That lift hill is like lightning. Absolutely like lightning. But as we expected, once you're up the top there, you've got a lovely little whip around going into the drop. And the drop is surprisingly forceful, it really is. Plenty of water at the bottom, and there's plenty of wetness coming out of it. So, prepare to get wet on the log flume. You will get soaked. There is no way you're going to uh, avoid it. You won't necessarily get your face or your top, but you are definitely having water come into the boat. So just remember that if you're going on it. But actually today, as I was just saying to Kurt, it doesn't matter, you know, it's, it's 13 degrees today. Yes, it's the 1st of March, it's not summer yet, and I apologise again for the wind noise, because I know there's going to be wind noise walking down here. But it doesn't matter, we're warm, my trousers are dry already, and my feet are a bit wet, but it's nice, it's all right. And you know, the weather's only supposed to be getting better and better, hopefully. We've seen the back of these storms and everything now is opening. Let's wait until Clarence Pier opening. We've gone on the Twister, riding really well as we would expect. Um, we've then been on the Mad Mouse, Kurt's been on that, he's giving you a POV of that. Brakes are a bit sharp quite early on, we're told it's just because it's early on in the season that the brakes are a bit sharp on it. And then Cody and I did the Tidal Wave coaster, and I love that coaster. I said last year I love that coaster, I like different things, you know, they don't have to be thrill rides. I think that, um, you know, when people uh, message and when, when people leave comments and things and they're like, oh, you know, they just need a big thrill and attraction and everything like that. It's like you sometimes got to appreciate, you know, the design and uh, effort that goes into some of the smaller rides for all the family. And that Tidal Wave is an all the family ride. It really is. And it's a beautiful one. Rides really well, really smooth, lovely whip, and it's been... You like spins? You like spin? Yep. Absolutely great. It's real, real nice to just be able to, we're literally five minutes from home here, to come down here, and the atmosphere, as we said, is absolutely buzzing. So we've come down here, great atmosphere, the music's blaring, the park's filling up, you know, the afternoon will only get busier. Look at the blue skies, look. Blue skies are here. New ride is now open at Clarence Pier. That's the log flume. Hopefully you've already seen the POV. We'd put the POV up on day one. So you will have seen the POV already. And this, of course, was our opening day vlog from the park. We will be back down to Clarence Pier this year. Without a shadow of a doubt, we will be back down this year. And uh, yeah, we're gonna film it for you. We're gonna film it for you. If you're down on the South Coast, make sure you come along to Clarence Pier. It's definitely worth it. But from UK Thing Parts, my name's Adam. We'll see you next time. <laughs>